Hello, my name is Lorenzo and I'd like to show you in this video how easy it is to set up Wombat Dialer on an existing Elastic system. It really takes a few minutes to do it. As a first step, we install Wombat Dialer on uh, Elastic using Yum. Elastic already includes uh, the Wombat repositories, so it's very easy to do it. Yum install Wombat. It will download uh, the the repositories and uh, the, 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 um, the RPMs and uh, will uh, com do a complete installation. The installation is meant to be very easy. It will download all the required uh, components so you don't have to do anything manually. And once the installation is through, you can simply access Wombat uh, through its HTTP interface. Okay, now the installation is complete, we simply connect to the box HTTP slash wombat and we get to see uh, a connection, um, a wizard to install the database. You enter the root password that you uh, created the when you installed uh, when you installed uh, Elastix for the first time and click on update now. When done, when the installation completes, you check that everything went fine and uh, click here. You will have to read and accept the uh, license agreement for Wombat. When done, you're going to log in to Wombat here. Now Wombat is ready. You can log in as demo admin password demo. You can change it, you should change it uh, when it's running. When you see this, this means that Wombat is installed OK. When you log in in Wombat the first time, it has a demo key for up to two channels here. We suggest that if you want to run a complete test, we suggest that you go to the Wombat website and request a, a free demo key for 100 channels so you can fully evaluate Wombat uh, on your test site. The first thing we have to do in order to set up a Wombat is to, is to create a campaign that gets played on your uh, Elastix PBX. The easiest thing to do is simply to create a, a standard message that will be broadcast to all your uh, to all the receivers of those calls. Um, in order to do this, basically you create an audio file in uh, in um, Elastics, and then you create a, a specific application that will basically do the the playback. We call it play message. It will do the playback when you when you dial 999 on this server. It will play an announcement for a Wombat message. That's it. It's very easy to do. You can do anything here, meaning that you could have an IVR, you could have a queue, you could have whatever you want. This is the simplest, the, the most simple case. Now we have to configure Wombat in order to 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 have uh, the system uh, uh, to run the first campaign. In order to configure Wombat, the first thing you have to do is to edit its settings. Basically, we have to tell it which asterisk server you need to use. So we call it PBX, for example, the IP address, the login and password you have to use to access it, and uh, then we save. We create a trunk. A trunk is basically a set of lines that sits on our asterisk server, we call it T1, for example, and has dial string. This means that we want this trunk to work as if those calls were dialed from within one, but it, from within um, from a, a local extension. So we use local note that the dial string contains a placeholder where the actual number will be dialed we save this we have a capacity that we can set then we have to create an endpoint that is basically our destination the endpoint of is of type phone we dial uh, we have uh, 999 as our feature code here so the extension is 999 and the local context is uh, from inter no. we save it at this point a wombat is basically is basically set up then what we do we have to create a list a list is a set of numbers that have to be dialed we call our list uh, test list for example we save it we select it and we can add numbers manually of course in general you're going to upload sets of numbers because it's uh, easier to do 
we're going to add just a, a couple of numbers because uh, we just want to run a test. These numbers are local extensions, but they could be really anything. And that's up to you what to where to send those calls. Then we have to create a campaign. A campaign puts together uh, a set of uh, a, a set of uh, endpoints and uh, a set of rules and uh, gets you a complete uh, campaign that is ready to run. So we call it uh, campaign test. Okay, everything else should be fine for a very uh, trivial example like this. We select it, we add a trunk, we have only one. We have an endpoint, we have only one. We have a list, and that's only one. Then what we have to do now is to add some rescheduled rules. Rescheduled rules are meant to tell Wombat what to do when something happens that is not that is the call is not directly placeable. For example, the call is not being answered. What do you do? Our answer is we'll retry this call after, say, 15 seconds. Of course, this is just because uh, I want this to be quick. Maybe we we'll get a busy. If we have a busy, we want this call retried uh, two times, for example, after five minutes. Or the call could be rejected because uh, it's not uh, because the network is not processing it, and we want to retry after again uh, after 30 seconds. Say, we save this. Now we have a set of rules, uh, a campaign with uh, its own settings, a set of trunks it's running on, a set of endpoints that are calls are being sent to, and a list of numbers. We're ready to run. Before running, we have to make sure that Wombat Dialer is actually running. What we do is we start it from here and we click here to make sure it says state is ready so basically it's up and working it's uh, in order to start a campaign this is very easy to do you go to the live page the live page we show the status of wombat when it's running we have a box here called available campaigns so when we select one the campaign is displayed here below and you can click on start when you start it you get a message and the campaign is going to be processed immediately Okay, now these calls are being placed and you can see that uh, the both calls have been tried at once because uh, Wombat has up to two channels. One of the calls, we take it, it's here, and we, the play message is played back. Hello, this is a message from Wombat Dialer. Thank you. You can see bye that bye. the status is changed here. This is a very, very simple example. The other call is still being attempted here. You can now the, the the call is through. This campaign should be almost terminated, meaning that uh, one of the calls did not go through, so it should try uh, retry it again after a few seconds. So it's saying that it placed the two calls up to now, and now it's retrying. You can see it here. When you click on a call that's been retried or whatever, you can see its status change here. So basically you can see the server it's run on, uh, uh, the IDs, uh, all the information when it's uh, originated and everything else. You can see the running campaigns now. The campaign is running and it's going to tell you how many calls were placed, how much it's been running and all the information, uh, all the information uh, that, uh, that is going through. You can stop the campaign, uh, pause it, uh, reload, do things like this. Now the campaign is over, it's not running anymore. You can find it in recently closed. You can click here and you can see the statistics for your campaign. In this case, uh, three calls were placed, one went through immediately, two were tried but never went anywhere. So you can see what's, uh, what's, uh, what happened to your call. If you want to have a better idea of what actually went on, you can click on here on campaign report campaign test, you select your campaign, usually it's displaying for, uh, for uh, the, the current period. You click here, and here you can see the statistics for the, the, the calls were that were placed. Uh, for example, two calls uh, were not answered, one was terminated. And here you can see the details for each call that was placed. So you can go and find uh, out uh, specific information as uh, what happened, uh, things like that. Okay, we save this. You can even export things to a new list by clicking here. You select termination code and you can create a new list that is, uh, say, retry. You run here. And a, a new number, and the, the one that did not go through, was uh, created on a separate campaign. If you go to the lists here now, you can, uh, let's uh, do, oops, 
here on the list you can see the retry list that has only one number in it and you can see the test list by clicking on one of the numbers you can see the attempts that were made for example this this is the number that did not go anywhere with uh, the wait times and all the things like this and this is the call that was uh, that we actually answered during this video of course uh, wombat is way it has a lot of things in it this is a very very simple example but um, wombat has many things in it so our suggestion is in any case to go to the to the wombat dialer website and have a look at it, the, the documentation there is a lot of information on this there is a blog that contains articles explaining things that are working the other things is uh, there are uh, FAQs, manuals, integration tutorials uh, and there is even a support forum for you if um, the other thing that we suggest is that when done uh, the installation you can, uh, you can um, uh, ask for a, a demo key with the demo key you can get a demo key that will unlock Wombat for a limited period so that you can test drive it using uh, uh, a scenario that is uh, likely more complex than this so you can test it completely at your premises and see if it fits uh, what you're planning to do with it we hope you will like uh, our product and we hope to hear from you in the future thank you